example. So, and the first scenario uh, work um, work uh, work very well. Um, so far, we uh, we haven't provide any username and password, um, as you can see here. Not, and then also in the app config uh, for the security mode, we use the non non security mode uh, because in the um, in the B1 or F uh, web service side, we uh, we deploy the service as the um, as the non authorization. So here is the non non security security mode as non. Okay, that's the first scenario. We have succeed to. Um, Invoke the web service by the .NET project, uh, but um, it's a non-authentication here. So next, the second demo, I would like to show you to um, using the uh, base authentication um, um, in the server side and also in the client side as well. So in order to um, using the um, um, base authentication, uh, we need to um, set up our package as the base authentication in the B1IF first. If you remember there. Uh, based on the location, and then we in the client side on that app config, we also need to modify the security mode a little bit uh, to switch the uh, security mode in from um, none into the transport credential only, and then you would ask for the base, um, ask for the username and password um, there. So let's do it together. So the first thing, I just need to going back to my uh, integration framework and package design. Uh, um, before that, uh, before we um, modify our scenario um, package, uh, we need to deactivate. Um, we need to deactivate first. So, just going back to control and then to uncheck this one. Okay, now it's deactivate. It's in design mode. Now we go into the package design, and now. Um, now, so the, for the second scenario, I'm going to configure the authentication um, of my web service uh, in as the base authentication, and therefore you will ask uh, you will ask for the username and password. Just click save it. Now the backend side has been deployed as base authentication. So um, for the client side, uh, we need to modify um, um, the security um, um, accordingly as well. So the first thing is we need to um, provide the username and password um, here for the basic authentication here. So um, it would be provide a credential. We need to provide a credential um, here as well. So um, just provide a credential for my web service uh, by using the client credential and username. And just provide a username and password. The username it is. Um, integrations username and password. We want to add a mean and then the password. Uh, the password is my password. Just use your own password there. All right, and then that is the we provide a credential. Um, actually, we uh, we also have the second thing we need to modify, and that is the security mode. Uh, if you remember, for the security mode, uh, we should using the mode um, as transport credential only, and uh, for the credential type, we are going to using the um, base one, the clan as well, the blocks credential as well. So. Um, now everything is um, match each other. Um, in the server side, in the B1IF web service side, we uh, we configured it as the using the base authentication. And in the .NET client side, for the security mode, we using the transport pre with the credential and the, the basic type as well. And then also when we calling the web service, we provide the um, um, username and password for that. So let's um, run it once again. Okay, just and uh, get the list once again, and step by step. All right, we get an error there. Um, the error it is.
the error is very oh, very obviously because I forgot to activate my scenario there. So just give me one second to after we modified it, uh, don't forget to um, activate the scenario there. Okay, just activate it. All right, and then just try it once again. Okay, now it works uh, very well again. It's just to get the same value there, but now you need to provide the username and password um, here. Okay, um, so and we have learned um, two um, scenario um, in the .NET project. We're using the non-authentication um, project to consume the a B1I for web service without providing username and password and also the um, with a basic authentication so they got to match each other um, very well um, so um, and in summary um, now we have learned how to consume the web service there just to remember in the server side in the web server side B1I side uh, you got to um, generate the schema and the um, uh, WSDL as well for the schema you might need to have some tiny modification um, as well, and for the .NET client side, uh, we need to add the service reference to the B1IF uh, web service, and then for the security scenario, for this security setting, then um, we have covered the two scenario: the non authentication with HTTP, and then based authentication with HTTP. Um, this the security setting uh, they got to match each other in the server and the .NET client side there, uh, the security mode uh, setting um, as well. So uh, that's it. Thank you.